Hello, Mark Tax TV. Um, yeah, disappointed at least. Um, great as always to have Ryan Baby the Tycoon. Great that you took time no out, problem. mate. Um, some people said bad day at office, and some people said they didn't get players actually turn up. Obviously, have a bad day. Um, where do we start, mate? I mean, to get not not just bet, but like truly funk, mate. Um, to be fair, I'm like lost for words. Where to start? Yeah. Because you, 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 you're looking at a game, you're looking at where we are in the league, mate. And I just didn't. I don't think anybody saw it coming. Uh, not just the result, but the performance, mate. It was absolute woeful, uh, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, it was terrible, mate. Um, oh, where to start? So, listen, uh, you know, I want to, you know, give give um, Lincoln praise where it's due because they 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 came with a very a cl very clear game plan and they executed it perfectly. You know, they made it very difficult for us. You could see in the first half when we were doing all the sideways and backwards and all the fans were getting frustrated. That's because they were just really organised and set up. They they, they were uh, really well drilled. Um, they, they were also pressing us as well. It was like, like, a, like, a, also like a two two phase game plan where they, had, they, were, they were pressing us and pressing us and putting a, put us under pressure when we had the ball. Um, but also when we were attacking, they were really, they were really disciplined and dr well drilled. And they just executed perfectly. Um, you know, with a, with a smattering of of catastrophic, oh no, not catastrophic. It's even worse than that. Calamitous um, defense defensive errors. It was a joke, mate. That defense yesterday, and the the, the only the, the only hope I can take from it is it was just a bad day at the office. You know, we've not seen a a performance that bad in a long time, <laughs> and I, I, I like we're just saying off air, mate. I've just I've. I've been with much, I've been watching Bounty for thirty five years. I think that might be the biggest thumping I've ever seen at Oakwell. Me personally, mm. I'm trying. I was trying to think back if there's any more. That probably there probably is somewhere somewhere down the line. But what what I've seen, I've never seen us get pumped five one at home like that. And it would just. I think it's like the manner it, it happened, didn't it, Ryan? I mean, you look at first half. I mean, to be fair, first half, their goal, what a great goal. If if I'm being honest, great I've, I've rewatched it back. Yeah. He's like. We passed it, passed it, long ball, sweet pass. We, we split it open, split it open. Yeah. Many times I'm thinking, why didn't we do that? Because we are war, well, Ryan, and probably you were as well in, in, in Ponte as well. You're looking at Earl and Carrie, not left, in acres of space, not switching it, not switching it. Yeah. And then it was too yeah. little, too late. It was like you said, there, sideways, backwards, sideways, backwards. I'm thinking, someone make that run, someone make that run into space, look for it, look for the ball, but they won't. I mean, that yeah. was a frustrating part for me and all at times, Ryan. Yeah, it would just it would it would it were rubbish, mate. And and, and fans at Ponty were getting really irate. Uh, <clears> just touching <throat> on goal, everyone around me says what a goal that is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was great ball, and it were on as well. It had been on a few times, and this, he's played that ball over the top, and he's just rolled it into his path, and he's and he's yeah. finished it. Um, yeah. Good, great, great bit of football. But you know it, that it it. it the defensive line were too high and it, that ball were on a couple of times before that happened um, and they obviously spotted it and they've, they've executed it. But like you said, I, I think in first half, there was so much of going back to the sideways, backwards stuff like everyone saying what we're doing this window wiper football for. And like you said, on that left-hand side, it were on so many times. And watched them, after about half an hour, when we start, we actually switched on up until half time, we started to play better football and we started to utilise that left-hand side with, with, yeah. with Cadden and... and um, and, uh, and we we're getting a bit of joy, and we're moving. But when we started moving ball a bit quicker, we were, we were creating chances, and we arguably should have gone in at half time at one all um, easily. We should have we should have got that goal then when we when we were on top for those 15, 20 minutes before half time because uh, it's almost like all right, we've walk up now. You know what I mean? We've walk up. We're going to get into this. We're going to get back into this. And um, yeah, I couldn't have been more wrong, could I? On that second half, we did say I did say we've got to come out. We've got to get that goal. At half time, so we've got to get that goal because if they go 2 0, it's game over. This and um, it turned out to be that and more. Second so, half for me, it looked like I don't know, players just weren't switched on. And I've seen interviews and stuff like that after about like, <coughs> games we've played, and it's a one off, and it's other, yeah. But it's inexcusable when you, you're not quick enough to second ball. The passing at times, we just been about it, love look at to bits. I'm not singling local kind of that, like, but somebody's passing wayward and woeful. Yeah. Herbie Kane, 
you know, it's, at times it's like, where is our midfield? And this is in Ponte, where's his midfield? They're just like win and for us, like an up knife for a butter. And then when you're looking at defence, sixes and sevens, nobody were putting a tackle and nobody were putting a, a challenge or a shove up at ball or out. It were like, just that, come through us. That, that, that second time. goal, oh. yeah, their second goal, mate, were just, just embarrassing. I mean, it's a, don't get me wrong, it's a good run, it's a good move and it's a good finish by that. But how's he got through that? You know what I mean? It's, William just come out of defence. He's held on to mm-hmm. it for too long. Should have released mm-hmm. it. Run into Conor Graham. The, fe- the fo- both pair of them have fallen okay. over. Yeah. And then this lad's just picked ball up. But then there's then there's De Givney and is it McCart? It uh, Cole. Uh, sorry, uh, Luke Connell in yeah. penalty. In yeah, penalty. yeah, Luke Connell. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I had to play an idiot. He wants Luke Connell. And he's just gone through them two, like <laughs> just, just, just sauntered straight through them and mm-hmm. gone on and finished it. I mean, it's a good run and a good finish. I mean, he, he put it right in corner as well. Roberts had no chance, but how was, he, how was he being able to get that chance? And it all come from. Williams coming out, well, who also had an absolute stinker, by the way. Yeah. Um, he, he, I'll get on to that in a bit, come crack, because that one of the substitutions were, were, were boggling. But um, third goal, Josh Earl. I mean, Josh has been brilliant for us, but he get ball away on halfway line. And then that lad just absolutely, you know, turned him inside out. Mm-hmm. I and mean, he's gone down, he's out, completely outpaced him, which is unlike because he's, he's a fast player. Mm-hmm. But, anyways, they've gone on and again, managed to go through defense and get a, get a, and managed to get a shot off. There's no way that that's those second and third goals and the fifth goal, by the way, there's no way they should have ever been able to get those opportunities. It should have just been straightforward tackles, defensive, get the get the ball gone. Well done, yeah. And and um that were worrying, that Neil, I have to say. They just looked we look really, really shake it back, and which is a shame, really, because we've looked for the vast majority, although we keep conceding for the vast majority of the time, we look all right at that, don't we? Mm. Since we've had Josh Early and bringing Pines or and actually having three centre backs in it um, across across the back three, but oh god! You see that um, one about Pines, via what you've just said, via yeah. And I'll 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 it's kind. I want to uh, mention it separately, but I'll just follow up on that with Pines. Yeah. I've seen some stuff on socials and all saying, "Oh well, this is a game we definitely uh, miss Pines." But since when has Pines mi- uh, played in midfield? Yeah, I get mm. a bit defensive errors, but his midfield at times were non-existent. So yeah. again, because Pines <laughs> is out, it's like uh, people have been jumping on bandwagon saying that, oh yeah, but uh, it's because Pines haven't been in. Really? What about the his attacking options? You know, yeah. up in, in second day when Philip squared it to Coleman is driving him to pop his scent. So many, so many individual errors on that pitch yesterday. And yeah. I'm looking at the goals. I felt sorry for Liam Roberts because I don't think he had, he had, he had a chance for any of them because his list has gone through his he saves, defensive he made, he made, nothing. That, that one he made it first half at best, one of the best saves I've seen him make it all season yeah. when that lad that scored went down to left yeah when he volleyed yeah. he's, he's turned it around because they're, they're the most difficult ones to get down so and he also for yeah. their fifth goal he made a great save but not before his defence were again like Tuesday night his defence weren't not there helping enough. him out and he just knocked it in to make it 5-1 and that's when I'd had enough mate mm. Well, that's when I like saw you. I did say, say to me, you know, it got to 4 0, and, and I, my son's going, Are we going, Dad? <laughs> mm. And I just said, No, he says, we, we, we stay, we stay while and while they're winning, we stay while and while they when, when mm. they're losing. And then we got 4 yeah. 1, and then we we're going to stay. And then, and then as soon as fifth one went in, and the way it went in, we went, Come on, sit enough. That's enough. You like, want to Well, I saw you, didn't I? <clears throat> I'm just burning yeah. about it off air. I saw you, and yeah. this time I've done um, that. Yeah, I mean, you can. It's a bit of a non. It's a bit of a non-comment in it, really. It's a bit of a non-argument, really, about about Pines. Is he were injured? That's it. Is he, he got a knock and he's not playing, so it's not like he's dropped him, but for any other reason than then he's then he's got a knock and he can't play. And and actually, when McCart came in, certainly in first half, McCart actually played all right. It was one at ones mm. that I thought actually played decent um, mm. from a defensive standpoint. I have to question his constant sideways passing all the time and not like we touched on earlier about you know trying to get Josh Earl and. Um, and Cannon going down left. Um, it would just, like you say, it would just pour all around, mate. And this is where now we've got to see a reaction from the team. We've we've got to see a reaction from them. We've got Carlisle and Cheltenham, which on paper, I have to say, on paper are winnable games. Um, they need to be, you know, they, they need to earn the cross. They need to be professional footballers now. They need to put that, put that, Poor performance to bed by going out against six points in the next two games, and nothing less than six points um, will be accepted by fans with these two with these two games. Now we need to go out and win these games. You know that 
the, the the dropping of two points against Bolton in ninety eighth minute on Tuesday night. What was it? I think we disappointed for everybody involved with club fans and everything. But they should have been professional enough not to let that hangover hit them, and it obviously had because they were just we were just miles off it yesterday, weren't we? Absolutely mm-hmm. miles off it. In such where we needed a response from the team to to you know after dropping those two points in such an important game, um, we needed a response yesterday, and that was just just the worst response you could have, you could possibly imagine. So, got to turn it around for Carlisle, mate. Got to turn it around for mm-hmm. Carlisle and then Cheltenham at home next Saturday because. Otherwise, it's it's automatically gone. Um, the, 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 it's not it's not completely gone yet. I'm not going to sit there and say it's season's over no. because it isn't. No. Um, no. You know, we are six points behind Derby, but Derby and Bolton have got, got a, a game in hand over them as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got a game in hand, and Derby and Bolton have got a play next week. They both can't yeah. win it. Yeah, um, you know, Portsmouth, yeah. Derby and Bolton have both got to play Portsmouth as as we yeah. do as well. So there's 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 lots of twists and turns yet to, to play for. But I, I mean, to have any chance now, we we, we literally need to win the vast majority of those games. Yeah, um, and I, I generally think we don't. I don't think we can afford another loss, mate. No, especially in that manner. Especially, uh, before, especially yeah. in that manner. Uh, before we get on uh, to Carlisle games, I'm just going to finish off on some of my thoughts about the, the game against Lincoln. I don't agree with certain sections of fans, small pockets of fans calling for Collins to get sacked. I don't agree with that one bit. Yeah. One, what I don't agree with that one bit. Uh, if there's anybody at the club watching this, I don't want it to be coming across as negative and a down doing team and be something well, that's far from it. But at the end of the day, when you see a performance like that, and like Jordan Williams, like I said, he apologised to the fans, you've got to see this how the stands emptied. I think that speaks volumes on the frustration, the disappointment at fans. So, because there's been some people like to say, yeah, but we're still in playoffs and people are reacting and this other. Well, if it were a season review, fair, fine, but it's not a season review we're doing. What we're doing is a it's a match yeah. reaction. Yeah. So because you've got to call it out on the match. If I want to do a season review, you could nitpick on BV and everywhere. So before people get on the IOS and start saying you're reacting, where's all this negativity coming from? If you can honestly tell me after watching that game that we've got to get some positive stuff out of here. <clears throat> love to hear it because there'd be so many over thousand of fans uh, uh, disapproving either we're leaving the stadium so again got to put it into context when it's great and it's good we'll call it out but when it's like a woeful performance you still got to do the same yeah and again it's not individually slating or naming players but with certain players on the pitch what many fans you know we're just going about it um, uh, me and Ryan off the thing don't agree with cheering for when Cole got substituted. We know the pressure uh, lads under. He hadn't scored in uh, eight games. In fact, the last game he scored were at home against Carlisle. So all being like come back that duck when we play him in midweek. Mm. But again, you've got to call it out. And when <laughs> the man at match got announced, apparently because I'd gone, the, the fans what were there laughed. I so again, what, what does that say? Yeah. When he got announced, but they laughed at it, and I'm like, how embarrassing is that? People Liam like Robinson. Simon Phillips. <laughs> yeah, for me, because I think Phillips got it because he scored a goal. You know, but again, you, you could you could nitpick and say, well, Phillips won't in the game as such. He squared it when he should have scored rather than to cut. So yeah. if we want to go down that route, we could do an individual player analysis at this rate. And, you know, that would identify it. But again, I've seen some people like say that's it automatically. It's definitely over. Blah blah blah. Tell his eye to cut. And I'm thinking, hold on a minute. We've got to get, we're, we're fifth. On Tuesday we could have gone second. This is how quick it can change. Like what Ryan just said there. We're fifth at minute. We've got a game in hand over. Uh, let's have a look. Bolton, Portsmouth, and Derby. Yeah, we win as a uh, game in hand, which is on Stevenage. Uh, you know, thing. on that. That will take us up to like what is seventy. Like we just said there. Derby and Bolton have got to play one another at weekend. Yeah. Boston have got to play them. But still, mathematically, we're not out. And I, I get where people will be like... It's like we're far from out. Listen, it's it's, it, no. it's, it's, it's a massive blow, mate. It is a yeah. big blow. Uh, not just not just from a from a, a league, um, you know, points in the league and where and where are the league standings. It's not just a blow for that. Psychologically, a 5-1 blow. But this is this is where the difference um, is required. This is where the difference of being a professional footballer Requires this is where 
<laughs> the, the giveaway, the name in the title, professional comes from, yeah. and this is what we need them to be. We need them to be professional footballers and not be sat there sulking and letting it bother them. They need to come out and we need a reaction from them for yeah, the for the Carlisle and Cheltenham games. It's not it's not it's not dead in it's not it's not great. There were a couple of things I wanted to just cover off with Lincoln game mate, about uh, yeah. one, of, one of the substitutions that I, I, I'd say about the whole performance for us it's not really on Collins this one at all. People can sit there and say Collins should be sacked. That were on the players yesterday. Like I said, he played his strongest eleven that he could have played that he had available to him um, to start with, with. With Pines being out, so he just brought he brought McCart in, and the, the, you know, and, he, and he's tried. He has tried. He's tried it earlier on um, to, to make. He's made substitutions, try and change the game, try and change the fortunes of the game, and it's just not. It, the players have just not performed. You know, in, individual errors and not the manager's fault. Individual defensive errors and not the manager's fault. But what I will say is that when he took Nick Cadden off, that just. Mm. Yeah, that's all. When he brought Williams should have come off. Why can, can Williams just not come off because he's captain? Does he does he get a does he get a pass or something? Yeah. yeah. I'm not having a go. I'm not one of these players that has a go at Jordan. I like Jordan, but he were having a stinker. And if you wanted to bring um you wanted to bring O'Keefe on, then surely the right wing back that's not performing, Nick Cadden were one of the players, certainly in the first half, that were actually trying to do Turn something and actually, doing, and actually playing well. And then to take Cadden off, every, everyone were disillusioned. There's a, there's a lad that sits on end of my row, um, sits on right end of row, and he just properly, he just let loose when he when he mm. took when he took Cadden off. He got up and gave. He, he just went barmy, you know. And he it was severely displeased. Should we say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it were it was just a baffling decision baffling. To, to, to to do that. But other than that, I don't think anything were on Collins really yesterday. I just think I looked at Collins and a lot of time and. Yeah, when, when we're passing sideways and backwards, he, he will go in by me, and he's wow. verbally it's get forward, get forward. But again, for some reason, the players didn't respond, uh, yeah. they didn't react, and it were too little, too late. And I think that's the most frustrating thing about it is that when you're seeing your manager at side and he's like shouting and barking out instructions, whether it's for, like I said, the players, the sense just like lost confidence. Mm. I don't know, they, they didn't want to make that pass and get ball away, but they didn't anything but, and they didn't even get. Challenge my second ball and put a tackle in. I think that's the frustrating thing. So what I do find frustrating, Neil, at times is that I've noticed it a lot more, more, very much so at Oakwell this season. Is that when we play against good football sides and it allows us to play our football, we seem, we perform a lot better. But when we've got sides come with a ge- clear game plan that they know is going to frustrate us, and that they've obviously done their own work, we we just sort of let them, in, you know let them play their style of play and let them impose their their style on us and, and then we just try and work them out instead of just trying to put impose our style back on them. We sort of like we just, just sort of like, oh, they're, they're not playing the way that we like to play. So we, we, we sort of don't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. It was a completely different performance. And it's it's happened quite a few times at Oakwell this season Change where it. sides, you know, come with a with a clear um clear game plan to frustrate us and just be very rigid in the defence and, and and not allow us to uh, you know play our style and, and 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 we just seem to resort back to that that window wiper football and it's we we need to do something about that because I'm sure there'll be teams watching that obviously there'll be scouts and stuff watching that saying this is how we beat Barnsley um, sure. so anyway yeah just it was just something I've, I've I've noticed yesterday and we did we just did not impose our style on the game at all we just let them play their way and and try to. I suppose figure out how we were going to do it, but we just don't seem to have that that plan B, if you like. No. Um, well, if it says could I'm in and all, uh, that that will yeah. uh, another point probably what's with that. Fair play to Lincoln fans as well, Lincoln City fans, because I thought uh, they came about two thousand and made some noise and um, I think we created an atmosphere. So fair play to Lincoln City. They were loudest. They were loudest fans about it all quality season, yeah. weren't they? Yeah, yeah. But, you know they had, a, they had a lot to shout about. To be fair, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had a lot yeah. to shout about. But the, 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 listen, I'm t- I'm not taking anything away from Lincoln. They they were they were good with Lincoln yesterday. They they, they thoroughly deserved the win, and mm. you know, and you can see why they're on an 11 game unbeaten run. Um, you got to just rewards, and you can't yeah, take away. As, as poorly as we played, you can't. It's not taking out away from Lincoln. Because no, I don't want to take it away from. I don't want to take away from them because I thought they were. I thought they were excellent. Yeah, certainly in second half, they just. They just bullied us, mate. They bullied us and thought, you know, thoroughly deserved the win. Yeah. Right. Going on to the Carlisle game. Um, again, 
got to win this. The bottom of the league, and it's no disrespect to Carlisle because you know uh, when he came to Oakwell in mid uh, January, I'm just thinking then we called scored. It was two one, and again, bottom of the league, they're going to be uh, fighting for their lives. And I think you touched on it there, uh, Ryan. Is that it's going to be a tricky? It's it's going to be a tricky game. This, yeah. And people say, oh yeah, but it's Carlisle bottom of the league. If they, you know, get a goal from a set piece route and camp up. Have we got it to break them down? Like if you said, yeah, but against stocky sides like that, have we got a plan B to like say, right, we're going to alter his style of play to either be more direct or take the game to him? Yeah, we've got we're, we're, nothing less than three points will do, mate. I'm going. I'm going to tonight. Um, I bought. I bought. I bought the tickets before the game, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd have been going anyway. I'm, I'm only joking, but yeah, we've got to. We've got to impose our style on them, and we've got to go out there and and you know show why we're why we're why we're in contention for um, for automatics and and go and put them to the sword. Anything less than that is just the three points come first. But for me, we need a performance on Tuesday night. We need a good dominant performance. I can't be seeing this hangover continue and these mm-hmm. performance. There's a lot of them players need to have a good long look at themselves because. As well as yesterday's performance, there's a few that have not played well for a few weeks mm. and they need to book their ideas up because it's coming into crunch time of season now, the most important time of season. You need to get, you know, sort the sense out because Cole's eight game, we are, we are scoring. He has been playing a bit better. He's been offering more to the team other than just goals because previously, a lot of the time, he didn't. But he's been he's not been great. McAtee's not been good for a good few games now. He's not played that well for a good few games. Both of them just couldn't seem to get ball out of the feet yesterday. No. Professional footballers, and you look like you're juggling weight with your feet. Every time it comes to your feet, you like panic and ball just goes, just have a bit more composure. You know what I mean? Just pull your finger out, basically. Um, I don't think Luke connell has been at his best last few games, I have to say. So there's and there's a lot of we can point fingers at a fair few of them. They need to come, they need to this is for the fans this on Tuesday night. As well as the yeah. obviously, as well as the team and the, and, the, and the league position, but this is this is this is a, a f- fans on Tuesday night. They need to go out there and rectify what the what 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 was an incredibly poor performance yesterday um, by going out and putting bottom up league to sort. Would you make it? I mean, I agree one hundred percent what you said, there, mate. Uh, I think this is a this is a <clears> chance <throat> for for the for the team, if not the squad, or whoever comes in. To like put a performance in and say, look, this is what this is what we can do. This is what we are capable of doing. Like the day we're going to like the the latter end, of the, the important stage of season like now, and is all the hard work through the season because it's been a long season going to be all unravelled because certain players are <clears throat> not playing great. You know, we're not doing the basics properly. Um, again, we don't, it's not meant to be done on purpose, but something's not right there. I just said you could individually name or go away from back from back to front. Having said that, would you be making any changes for the Carlisle game? Um, I, I think that, I think there probably needs to be after after thing uh, after after. I think what Kane's out, isn't it? Because he's picked up his. Uh, Kane's out. Was it? Games out too. I think Kane's out. Well, Conor, Conor, Conor Grant's coming in for him then, isn't it? Mm, yeah, Conor Grant's coming in for him. Um, it, it's obvi- an obvious replacement, but. Uh, picked up a silly yellow as well. What a silly yellow as well, wasn't it? But if you're gonna if you're gonna be out, you know, be out against bottom of the league. <laughs> yeah. And if you're yeah. gonna be out, be out against bottom of the league. Um, um I mean we probably do. The you know, based on based on that performance, <laughs> there should be some players dropped. The problem is we haven't got that much strength in depth, have we? Which is we, we knew about. Um Seen some calls about finger at call too much, but it's eight games without scoring, mate. So maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe playing him against Carlisle gives an opportunity to break his duck and get back on. You know, get back on his score, get his scoring boots back on. Um, if if Pines is fit and he's he's okay, then obviously bring 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 Pines back in. Um, no, I oh, think do you think Connors? Maybe maybe bring Cosgrove in for one at front too, mate. Um, or do you think Collins will come into Kane, innit? Um, do you think Collins will turn around and say, "Right, oh, 
That 11 that went out against Lincoln, you're in against on Tuesday. I want to see a, a reaction. And if not, this is... You yeah. think Collins will, could do that and say, look, I want... You're what right there on, you know, that afternoon. Woeful performance. I want that replicating. I want it 100% yeah. better. I don't yeah. want that replicating. Give him the opportunity to, to rectify it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could be, mate. Could be, I mean, we don't know what Donovan Pines' knock is because obviously it's a quick turnaround from Saturday to Tuesday. So whether it'll be fit yeah. or not, yeah. um, I'm not sure. But obviously, Granite will come in for Kane and then maybe switch Cosgrove for one at front two. Um, mm-hmm. Both of them were poor and both of them have been poor the last few games. So I'm not. Um, but, you know, <laughs> nah, we've. Carl, Despite despite the, the the performance yesterday, you know we we need as many points as we can if we're going to have any chance, mate, of, of autos. Um, mm. So we'll probably need to play the strongest eleven um, every game. Um, but then there's the flip side, isn't there, where you don't want players to become complacent. Where I think they can just get picked for first eleven regardless of performance. So he's, he's got a, he's got a oh, couple yeah. of difficult decisions on his hands, mate. As, as Neil yeah. Collins is going to have to earn his cross in here these these next couple of days. I hope they didn't get a day off today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I hope they're in in that silent down rain yeah. out there training today. Yeah, I really do because they need it. Uh, school prediction, mate. Can't lie. Um, I'm, I'm going to say we're going to go out and, and, and beat them convincingly, mate. I, I, I know it might sound like a bit 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 crackers, but. We need we we need a reaction, and I, and I'm confident that those players that we've got good enough players to go out and get a reaction. It might be we were saying yesterday as we come out of ground that a spanking like this instead of just like a close uh, uh, you know like a one nil or a two one loss, this might be the rocket up the ass that they need. You know, mm-hmm. you, you can't do anything, but if you've got any sort of professional pride, is to come out and. And rectify that situation yeah. because you know getting pumped five one at home in front of your own fans and the ground emptying before a final whistle. Mm. You know if you've got any professional pride in you, you need to go out and, and put put a, a, a significantly better performance in. So I'm going to say I'm going to say three 0 Barnsley. I'm going to go three one Barnsley because I still think defensive frailties, but I'm looking for us to get a few goals on the score sheet because we need to make amends for the goal difference. Yeah. And I'm also, like you just said, be looking for a performance as well, a reaction from the players, a positive reaction yeah. from players. No sulking, no, you know, you know, getting Monk on and, you know, Ed down. I, I'm wanting, like, so like you said, yeah. said there, this might be a rocket to ask for need. No complacency. Yeah. And, look, I'm not being funny, you know, but if you can't put a performance in a stand out against Carlisle, no disrespect to Carlisle, then your place is not going to be a given for the next home game yeah. against Cheltenham. If you if you if you want to turn up for, for the, against the Carlisle game, then questions for the players certainly definitely need to be addressed and looked at because while well, other players uh, cross that white line and get onto that pitch, you know, no matter what Colin does and barks orders and shouts and this and other, it's down to the players on the pitch. He's not yeah. passing the ball for them. He's telling them an urgent to get forward now. If they want to keep passing sideways and backwards and just do what we want to do. It's down to them, but at the end of the day, and I think Collins will be strong enough to say, look, you know what? If even it's after half an hour, you're getting all off, mate, because you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a job. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm, we haven't got time for him to salt, mate. No. We haven't got time for him to no, salt. Don't want to no, see anything. Be, be it, like I said, like I said earlier, you need to be professional footballers. Come out and do this for fans, because the fans deserve it after Saturday. They deserve yeah. a performance from you. Um, we, haven't got, we haven't got time for... <clears throat> we haven't got time for sulking. You're not going to get no. any time to sulk. And we certainly can't carry him. We certainly can't carry him at this stage of the season. Not a, and they, need to pull the finger out. They, they need to pull the finger out. And it's <laughs> listen. It's the the, the the the. I don't want to go be too harsh and and uh, and be too negative because prior to this, we've not actually been playing that bad. We've been playing out. We've been. been I go as far to say we've actually been playing well, but vast majority of time since certainly since exit a game. We've not had really, apart from you know, apart from last half hour against Brist, uh, Bolton. But I think that's just that Bolton played so well in that last half hour against us on Tuesday night. Um, hopefully, yesterday was just a one-off, mate. It would let. Hopefully, yesterday was just a one-off. But we're gonna we're gonna see it coming few games, aren't we? Yeah, um, definitely. It's gonna be interesting that one, mate. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, it's not been a great weekend to be a Barnsley fan, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of, Ruin my weekend. Questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's ru- ruined quite a few. A um, few thousand as well. Looking how quickly Oakwell emptied. Yeah, it's not been a great weekend. Uh, kind of something we took weather today, chucking down with rain and miserable. Um, yeah, it's not been great. The other thing we can do from this is, you know, well, the players just as soon as Dan have a long eye, look at the sensitive mirrors, address that, uh, and make it good. Coming into the Carlisle game on Tuesday night, like what Ryan just said, via must win game, must win game against Chelsea coming up, which we'll do another video. You know, we can't rest on his laurels, we've got to feel sorry for his sin as players. They've got to get on with it, be professional, and move on. All being well, it's just a blip, a one off, never to be repeated again. Um, yeah. Especially in that manner, you know, you can you can come up against a, a good side and get and, and you put a show in and it's one of them. But when you don't turn up as a football, you know, you know when you don't compete with it, you're gonna get what you deserve. And we, we did, we did, and fair play to Lincoln for that. Yeah, both win for Barnes of wins against Carlisle. Um, we definitely need a, a win. We definitely need a performance as well. We do go from here. Just try, try and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, Ryan, Bay the Tack, as always, mate. It's been a pleasure to talk yes, to uh, Please leave your comments below. I will go through them. It should be an interesting one. This bit comments going to be coming through. Uh, I'll reply to them as well. So, yeah, uh, like I said, we call it half what it is. It's not been great. Uh, it's been woeful. Players, too many players having off days. But we address it, we move on, and we're still in contention for automatic size. Still thinking. You know, mathematically we are. So until you know, it's over. It's over. But we move on to the Carlisle game. Try and enjoy it best of your weekend if you can. I know it's a bit harder than it is to the minute. But one thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs>